Hitler rises with his Nazi army, takes control of many places. The Rhineland, Poland, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, Denmark, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Yugoslavia, and many more places. He needed that so he could take control. He thought that if he had more places in his disposition, he could have more power, and he did. That's where it all began. He started setting concentration camps, labor camps, everything he could, and enslaved people in there, especially Jews, and began the deadliest concentration camp ever, Auschwitz. In 1939, Germany invades Poland, and the territory is taken within four weeks. The Nazi party strongly believed that German people were victims by socialists and Jews. With great manipulation skills, Hitler convinced many Germans that Jews should be eliminated from the world. Before 1939 ended, Almost 5 million Jews were herded into ghettos and concentration camps. Many concentration camps were built, but the one with more impact was Auschwitz. Auschwitz was the biggest of all concentration camps. It was a huge network. It consisted of Auschwitz 1, which is the base camp, Auschwitz 2, Birkenau, the extermination camp, Auschwitz 3, a labor camp, and 45 satellite camps surrounding it. Rudolf Haas was appointed commander for the Auschwitz camp. Originally, it was only built for 10,000 prisoners, but it quickly overcrowded and bullet by bullet couldn't fulfill their final solution. One of Haas's deputies created a way for mass death processes. This was a gas known as Cyclone B that was very lethal. They used to lock prisoners in a room and unleash the gas. Fences surround the concentration camp at Auschwitz. An estimated 1 million to 2 million 500 thousand people were exterminated at the camp. A row of chimneys tops the crematorium where bodies were burned. Auschwitz survivor showing tattoo. A view of barbed wire fences, buildings, and chimneys at Auschwitz Birkenau. The phrase on the main entrance gateway to the Auschwitz camp of Auschwitz Birkenau translates to Work will make you free. Auschwitz Birkenau was the largest Nazi concentration camp. The ovens at Auschwitz cremated the bodies of those who died in the camp. This gas chamber was the largest room in crematorium 1 at Auschwitz. The room was originally used as mortuary but was converted in 1941 into a gas chamber where Soviet prisoners of war and Jews were killed. Battered suitcases sit in a pile in a room of, at Auschwitz. The cases most inscribed with other owners' names were taken from prisoners upon their arrival at the camps. We went to to a camp where they shaved us, hair, genitals, and everything else. Took everything away from us. And they gave us some kind of cotton uniform, which was a concentration camp uniform. And they sent us to a camp which was Camp D. And the billowing smoke used to all the time. And it became so pessimistic about it. As you know, you start to wonder, well, what are you doing, what are you are doing? He says, is there any hope? And you spoke to those old timers, old timers, which were maybe there a week or two, or just two hours before you came. But they already considered themselves experts. So it says, you see those chimneys? This way you wind up. And it's amazed me, this, you took it nonchalantly. As a matter of fact, it seems like a relief. Because it was enough already. It was enough. And uh, it was no, no big deal. It's no big deal. It's only changed the, changed the scenery, but didn't change the suffering. These refugees got their homes taken away. These refugees were separated from their families. These refugees were dressed in blue and gray. These refugees didn't live their lives normally. Frantically, nobody deserves this. Concentration camps stayed with their hearts. And nothing less, they were treated like dogs. Their bodies flew into the pit. Merging with gasoline, they all lit. These refugees were always beaten to the floor. 
these refugees couldn't feel pain anymore. Their freedom was their most precious right, and their responsibility was to stay alive. This is a wide view of our gallery at Auschwitz. As you see, it seems like a pretty place, but it was used for really bad occasions. You know, inside in there. Don't know how SS man did that. They were just full of hatred. Many had lost hope, but others still believed and had a dream someday they will be out of there. That one day in the future, they won't remember the place and the things that occurred in there. People suffered lots from this war, and the Jews, and specifically at Auschwitz. Approximately, it is stated 2 million persons died at that camp, and their lives lost from 1940 to 1945, but one day arrived, the Liberation Day. Every discriminated person at Auschwitz remember it. This day is so special for them. It was the 27th of January of 1945 when they were let out of that malicious place where freedom began for the lives of these persons, where the faith they lost was regained, and they wouldn't be the same, no doubt, but when years passed in their lives, they would be able to rebuild hope and forget the horrible tragedy they have been through.